Friday night for St Helens. Well, just fought it up and up then for George Griffin. Truman's little grubber kick. Oh, the ball bounces and it's still oh, it's not still there. Oh, it's yeah. not got there. Oh, it's close. He hasn't he hasn't got got that down, or did he run out of room? Warrington making a terrible hash of that kick from Truman. And Holmes was pursuing it and he wouldn't let it go. But Chris Kendall thinks it's a try. Let's have a look, let's have a look. I Has he got he his get, reward? I think he gets it, Barry. Yeah. Yes. yes, he has. Well, an advance for Warrington. Ratchford having to stretch for that They're ball. Very far passes those. All three of those previous ones. Oh, and that's wow. claimed. That is claimed by Toby King, and that is really quick thinking by Toby King because Niall Evans was underneath it, but King got there first. Danny Walker pops out, pushes it back on the short side to Stefan Ratchford, and just as Terry O'Connor was talking about Toby King and how much of a quality player he is, how much he adds, how much value he brings. He chases hard, we know that about his game. St Clark gets a hold of the ankles, manages to stop Watts' progress. The ball spun out to Jake Truman. Truman gets uh, the pass away to Evels, and Niall Evels is over the line, has he got that down? Yes, he's he got has. it. I think Niall Evels has got a debut try. Man of Steel, Paul McShane. Daniel Smith, here is Jake Truman, Truman. Evels, Evels gets the pass away to Turner, and Turner will go in in the corner! And the Castle of Tigers strike just before half-time. Is that a turning point in this second half? Can they find a way through? They have done now with Jason Clark, and Clark has got the ball oh, away. Oh, oh, what a break. What a break from Darrell Clark. Clark and co have cut the deficit. Jason Clark with the break. Darrell Clark in support. Started the game on the bench, preserving some energy, was introduced by his coach. Then the speed of his side lifted, and from that one-armed offload, there's a little inside show and go. It's only delicate from a supporting Warrington player. Now Liam Watts. Watts gets the pass away. They've got the numbers out wide. They've got another try for Jordan Turner. And the Casablanca Tigers make the most of that passage of play it's one point instead they're going for through McShane and Paul McShane who's kicked a goal already Gareth O'Brien who'll uh, have to go through the head injury protocol and Ben Curry bursts through and Curry looking for some support he's got it from Blake Austin Austin towards the post line and directing him in that direction and Blake Austin dots the ball down the Toby King is saying get under the sticks I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but those two extra points on the scoreboard, well, they're not worrying. Milner, Milner's determined, gets the pass away somehow, finds Niall Evels, Evels puts the brakes on, the hooter sounds, Jack Hughes wraps him up, last tackle of the game. And Darrell Powell's cut of the Tigers, victorious. And Steve Price, stern, look on the face of the Warrington Wolves coach as his side have come off second best against Paul McShane and the team from just down the road, the Casaford Tigers.